The Australian Embassy to the Holy See is hosting a series of events this week highlighting the contributions of Indigenous peoples. Reconciliation Week includes discussions on the first Aboriginal liturgy 50 years ago. EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief Andreas Tonhauser sat down with the Australian Ambassador to the Holy See to find out more. This year we're celebrating 50 years of relations between the Holy See and Australia. Could you tell us a little bit more, what's the situation of the Church, of the Catholic Church in Australia and how are the relations with the Holy See? Yes, thank you very much for having me. Um, 50 years ago in 1973, our then Prime Minister Gough Whitlam decided to establish diplomatic relations with then Pope Paul VI. Uh, and over these 50 years, the relationship between Australia and the Holy See has developed considerably. We've had three papal visits. We hosted World Youth Day in Sydney in 2008, and we had the canonization of our first saint, Mary of the Cross MacKillop. So it's been an exciting time for the relationship. It's developed. There's been also some dark chapters, like our Royal Commission uh, on Child Abuse, but these things have made our relationship into the mature relationship that it is today. This week you're hosting a so-called Reconciliation Week. It's something that is happening, as I understand, in Australia every year. You've invited an Aboriginal elder, an artist, here for this week as well. Can you tell us a little bit more about the reconciliation process in Australia, also with regard to the church? Definitely. So every year in Australia we celebrate Reconciliation Week. Uh, it's the same week every year and it's an opportunity for non-Indigenous Australians and Indigenous Australians to come together and find ways to continue the reconciliation journey which began in 1967 when we had a referendum to remove discrimination against our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities. This has continued over the years and in 1992 we had a historic landmark decision in our Supreme Court to recognise native title and that was on the 3rd of June so that marks the end of our reconciliation week. This year, particularly because of our 50th anniversary, we invited this Aboriginal elder who's very well respected and has done a lot to promote reconciliation in Australia through her art and through education, Dr Miriam Rose Ungumer Bauman. And she comes from a very remote community on the banks of the Daly River in the very central part of Australia. She's travelled for days to be here with us this week and we're hosting a number of events to really bring her voice to the internet national stage. She also met Pope Francis today and I understand you were with her at this meeting. This seems to be a topic very close also to his heart, reconciliation. Yes, it's a real priority that we share in our relationship with the Holy See. Pope Francis, like his predecessors, has really extended a hand out to the indigenous communities around the world and really promotes um, their voices, their expertise, in order to be able to address some of the challenges as well that we are facing today, for example, like climate change. So Miriam Rose um, speaks a lot, of, she brings, she's a, um, a custodian of traditional knowledge, including through her connection to the land. And today she presented Pope Francis with an image of what she describes finding God in nature, um, which for her is very much a part of her faith and her spirituality. Your Excellency, thank you so much for taking time and being with us. Thank you.